एवरीवन वेलकम टू डे 22 ऑफ माय 50 डेज एसक्यूएल चैलेंज सीरीज और आई सॉल्व डेटा एनालिस्ट एंड बिजनेस एनालिस्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर एसक्यूएल टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग वन ऑफ द डेटा एनालिस्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दैट वाज आस्क इन अ फूड डिलीवरी कंपनी सो लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चंस यू हैव अ डेटा सेट ऑफ फूड डिलीवरी कंपनी विद कॉलम्स ऑर्डर आईडी कस्टमर्स आईडी ऑर्डर डेट एंड प्रेफर्ड डिलीवरी डेट इफ द कस्टमर्स प्रेफर्ड डिलीवरी डेट इज द सेम डे एज द ऑर्डर डेट then the order is called immediate otherwise it's called scheduled write the solutions to find the percentage of immediate orders in the first orders of all customers round the results in two decimals let's see the data that we have in the table so we have delivery id customers id order date and the customers preferred delivery date let's read the questions one more time to understand it better it says write a solutions to find the percentage of immediate orders in the first orders of all customers so basically we need to find out each customer first order and then from the first order we need to find out how many order they have selected as the same day delivery and how many order they have selected basically as a slow delivery which is like scheduled then we need to find out the total count of first orders and then we need to find out out of this first orders how many orders were set as basically immediate orders like where the customer has requested for the first day delivery and that's how we can basically solve this questions so let's write down the things that we need to solve this question so first thing we need to find out the first orders of each customers first orders of of each customer now how we can find the first order is basically the minimum order date for each customer would be the first order isn't it so we can use a distinct functions for the same now other than that we need to find out the total count of this a uh, first order so total count total count of this a uh, first order okay first orders so how many total first orders we have basically each customer will have a one order which is the first order and then the second third and fourth order but we only want to see the first orders and their preferences so once we find the first order and once we find the basically the total count of first orders then we can simply use a case uh, here to say that if the first order is basically same date uh, which is the order date then basically we can call it basically call uh, you know immediate otherwise we can call it scheduled so we can basically use a case here to basically call it immediate or we can call it schedule if it is based on basically the order and delivery date now other than what we need to basically find out is basically the count of a total first order which is which is immediate right total immediate basically we need to find out count of immediate orders count of immediate orders and then we can divide it basically by the total orders total first order which is by this thing total first orders and multiply with 100 times that is how we can find out the percentage of immediate orders from the total orders that is how we can find out basically our solutions now then we need to basically round the results in two decimals and last we can use a round functions to basically show the results in two decimals right round two right so we can use this five approach to solve this problem so let's start writing our query to solve this questions now at the end of this video i have a task for you so i would request you to watch the video till the end and you can complete your task and if you complete your task i'm sure you are going to learn all this concept like case and uh, uh, you know distinct and so many other concept you will be learning so do complete your task and leave your solutions in the comment box so let's start writing our query first we need how many first orders we have for each customer so let's understand how we can identify which is the first orders right now i'll be using a distinct functions to solve this questions so distinct basically remove the duplicates and select unique record from a table so i would say select distinct just to show you how distinct works so i'm saying distinct customer id so if i say distinct customer id from our table which is going to be from delivery date now before that you can see the same customer may have multiple uh, place multiple orders this is the customer's id you can see one two and see the same customer has placed a uh, twice right so three the same customer has placed two orders so same customer has placed multiple orders so if i say distinct customer's id i only get the distinct customer's id right so this is uh, this are the distinct customer's id that i am getting so which is 93546 so on so on right so this distinct uh, select the unique basically record from the table now what i will do i will say distinct on and distinct on basically this column so i'm saying distinct on this column but i'm not selling selecting this column even i want if i want i can select it so for now first i will just select it for you okay i'm just selecting customers id then i would select order date and then i would select the customers a preferred order date which is customer pref delivery 
date okay i'll just need to check if the column spelling is correct i think it is now i'll just give you a short name to this one which is c p d c p d d so this is the short name i'm giving to this column now if i run this query okay it's going to select the customer's id it's going to select one order date of the cus from this basically all the orders and then one of the basically preferred delivery date now the point is that we want to ensure that we are selecting the first order date of the customers right because then only we will see if the customer and the delivery date and the order date is same now i am not selecting the second or third or you know basically orders for the same customers so how do i do that i can simply go ahead and say here uh if i just run it you know it's going to select the automatically but if i do some order by if i do order by in ascending orders of customers id and i do order by basically the order date in ascending orders now it is going to select the you know smallest order date and basically the customers id right if i just run this query you will see i have uh, got one second oops i missed missed a comma so if i just run it i have basically only a uh, kind of nine orders now if you see the total uh, table this total table we have basically total 13 record but from the 13 record nine records are basically the first order of each customers now if you see the customers id we are saying one two three four so on so on right no customers is repeating now for each customers we are selecting the basically the first order date now how we are ensuring we are selecting first order date by doing the order by by the order date if i do order by by descending that means we will be selecting basically the last order date right now i'm doing a ascending that's the reason i'm saying that we are selecting the customer's id and their first order date and that basically particular order delivery date now what we need to ensure is that if this order date and the delivery date is same that means that is a basically immediate orders and if it is not same that is a scheduled order right so this is what we need to basically find to solve this basically you know questions now from this table now from this table i can basically build some logic to solve these questions now you can see we wanted to find out find the first orders of each customers so this is done now now next we need basically total count of orders total count of first orders now i can simply go ahead and say if i say count of count of everything okay count of everything from and i can use this query as a sub query if i just use this query as a sub query and i can use this query as a sub query oops let me just delete the extra space now i can just use this query as a sub query and i can maybe give a name call here as sub query or maybe as first order table okay first order table now this query is going to run first because this is a sub query i'm using now that's going to store the data in this table basically this table is i'm just naming it called first order table now from this table i'm basically checking how many orders i have which is going to be nine right you can see nine orders i have from this so uh this is perfect let me just organize it a bit okay so this looks fine for me i just uh, remove the extra space okay i think that was fine so this is fine now i have basically nine records right so what i need to basically find out out of this nine records how many records are basically immediate and how many records are basically scheduled now i can see the table in the table i have basically the customer's id order date and the you know basically a uh, customer preferred delivery date now i can see if the order date and the uh, preferred delivery date is same i can give a number called one and then i can basically sum the one to see how many basically you know uh like orders we have which is as a basically you know immediate right so let's just use a case first let's just see how it's going to look like so i can go ahead and say let me first select everything for you okay so that you can understand it so i'm saying that case when and uh, i'll just give you a next line so i'm saying case when this customers uh this order date okay when this order date that means when this order date okay same with uh this a uh, cpdt which is basically preferred customer preferred delivery date then we can say basically what then we can say basically schedule which is going to be our um mean then we can say immediate right so because if the customer wanted the same day then we are calling it as immediate and else we can call it scheduled okay if i run this query you will see that i'll just i'll just need to end this case so i'll say end and i can just give any name call as customer d type 
customer type okay customer type or delivery or whatever name i can give now if i just run this query you can see i am getting basically all the uh, you know order and their basically kind of mark you know basically their category now this order it is not on the same day you can see the order was on the you know first of august and the delivery date is basically next day so it is showing as scheduled now the third one is basically in the same day because see the order was on 2nd of august and the delivery date is the same then it is showing immediate now same similarly i have basically marked each and every delivery date based on the you know urgency right now what i need to basically do is basically i need to count how many schedule i how many immediate i have and then i need to basically count all the orders i have all the orders i have counted which is nine and i just need to count how many immediates i have right so how i can do that right how can i can just use some logic here in the same here i can go ahead and say when this order date and uh, customer prefer delivery date is uh, the you know basically same then i instead of immediate i want to basically use a number called one else i want to use a number called zero now if i just uh, sum this query okay if i just sum this query till here okay if i just sum this query till here uh, let's say till here i can just say if i just sum this query inside a sum if i put this query it's going to basically give a count it's going to give me a count of basically you know the total uh, orders which are uh, as a basically you know immediate right now i can just remove this name for now and i can just unselect it now if i just run this query you will see it's going to basically give me how many orders i have which is as a basically immediate right so this are uh, this is the count which is three now this is how i got it like which is the second thing total count of first orders which i got it earlier which was nine and then i have used a case to basically get the count of immediate orders right so which is a three now i i can simply go ahead and basically divide it by basically the nine now for nine what i used is basically simple count functions count of stars basically count of all the rows that i have in this table which is from this table first order table now that is how i get the percentage right now if i just run it I can get the results right so you can see I'm not getting the results I just need to do some uh, you know basically number conversion because we may be getting a zero conversion error here so what I will do I will basically first convert this outcome okay whatever the result I'm getting from this query so let's just uh, write it here whatever I'm getting from this query I'll just convert it into numeric so numeric and then whatever I'm getting from this query I'm also converting it into numeric okay now if i just convert it into numeric i should be getting the results let's just check now i'm getting 33 percent which is uh, correct now we can just go ahead and do some more uh, formatting let's see the what you need next now see how do you find the total immediate orders uh, you know basically percentage is basically the total immediate orders number of total immediate orders divided by total count of first order which is nine and then multiply with 100 so simply we need to multiply this uh, you know whole query with 100 right so we can say times 100 now if i run it i will be getting 33 percent okay so you can see i'm getting 33 percent but i need to round the results into two decimal the last you know task of the question is round the results in two decimals let's see how we can round the results so we can simply uh, cut it from here to here okay and i can just cut it and i can use a round functions here round and uh, i can use two now whatever i'll be giving uh, here uh, you know between this comma and uh, uh, before this comma i that number is going to convert into two decimals so let's just uh, you know paste it here now i can just go ahead and run it you see the result is converted into two now if you want to check how round function work round is like simple one if you just say round and you say like uh, two three three four or let's say some number okay now if i just give you three i will be getting basically three decimal number okay you see it's converted into three now whatever i did which is numeric now numeric is simply convert the number into basically a numeric format okay i can use a numeric here so when you're using aggregation functions the results may basically you know get a zero or some other basically null to fix those kind of issues you need to use this conversion if you're using PostgreSQL, which is numeric now if i run this query i still get the same and the number get converted into basically numbers then i get basically three i can use two here to get basically two so this is fine now let's just go ahead and run our query okay now let's just run our query now let's see we have basically you know 33 percent you know orders which which is the first orders of uh, customers and that are basically 33 percent which is where customer is preferring as the same day delivery so depending on like total orders that we receive like total first orders of each customers so 33 percent customer preferred as a basically same day delivery now if you want to verify it you can go ahead and simply do the same thing you can say in case you can say that uh, 
uh, zero, else you can say one. So we just uh, you know basically uh, you know changing uh, this uh, into basically you know other things. Now I can just go ahead and basically run it, and it's going to basically give me a total number of orders which is as a schedule like the next day or you know day after day or so on basically type of delivery now this is how we can solve really complex uh, sql problem using step by step approach maybe by this way even you can use this same approach in the interview as well so this is fine now i have a small task for you let me show you the task okay so your task is basically write a sql query to determine the percentage of orders where customers select next date delivery okay so you need to find out the percentage of uh, orders from the first orders of course where the customer select next day delivery okay from the basically total first orders so total first order which is nine now you need to find out how many out of this nine how many customers are selecting next day delivery then basically you will be basically dividing the total next day delivery divided by the total uh, you know count of orders which is first uh, you know orders for each customers and then you will multiply with 100 that is how basically you can get your results you can write down your solutions in the comment box now to find next day delivery you can see next day delivery date is basically order date plus or one right that is how you can get the next day you know date so yeah that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content and enjoy solving this kind of sql challenge do subscribe to my youtube channel and like the video share with somebody who need it that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end have a good day see you tomorrow